Welcome back to Buzz Quiz. Today I challenge you to guess the voice of the Wednesday characters by their voice. For more fun videos, hit the subscribe button. Let's go. Number one. One hundo. So, um, I was thinking of sneaking behind the greenhouse tonight. There's supposed to be a blue moon. Only happens once every 23 years or something crazy. Should get a killer view from there. Can you guess the voice? That's Wednesday's roommate, Enid Sinclair. One hundo. So, um, I was thinking of sneaking behind the greenhouse tonight. There's supposed to be a blue moon. Only happens once every 23 years or something crazy. Should get a killer view from there. Number two. First team to cross the finish line with their flag wins the cup and bragging rights for a year, as well as some special privileges. Let the Poe Cup begin! Whose voice this can be? This is the principal, Larissa Weems. First team to cross the finish line with their flag wins the cup and bragging rights for a year, as well as some special privileges. Number three. Okay, don't hate me. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I want us to be more than friends. This sounds familiar. That's Tyler. Okay, don't hate me. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I want us to be more than friends. Number four. Darling, we aren't the ones who got you expelled. That boy's family was going to file attempted murder charges. How would that have looked on your record? Do you know whose voice is this? It's Wednesday's mother, Morticia Adams. Darling, we aren't the ones who got you expelled. That boy's family was going to file attempted murder charges. How would that have looked on your record? Number five. Can you tell who this sounds like? Yes, it's Thing. <sighs> Number six. Look at you, my little death trap. Seeing you in this uniform brings back so many terrible memories, doesn't it, Dish? Who can this be? Wednesday's father, Gomez Adams. Look at you, my little death trap. Seeing you in this uniform brings back so many terrible memories, doesn't it, Dish? Number seven. Weems was right. You do need psychiatric help. Can't throw out wild accusations without consequences. That store mom, Miss Thornhill. Weems was right. You do need psychiatric help. Can't throw out wild accusations without consequences. Number eight. Oh, oh, that's what you were doing. I, I kind of wondered when you spent so long brushing down a possum stale. <laughs> So, you want to meet up behind the greenhouse. It's Ajax. Oh! Oh, that's what you were doing. I, I kind of wondered when you spent so long brushing down a possum stale. <laughs> so, you want to meet up behind the greenhouse. Number nine. I was a concert pianist. Till one night, she transformed in the middle of a Chopin sonata, massacred a dozen audience members and three music critics. Whose voice is this? That's Uncle Fester. And a penchant for necrophilia. <laughs> <laughs> Olga was a concert pianist. Till one night, she transformed in the middle of a Chopin sonata, massacred a dozen audience members and three music critics. Number 10. Maybe if you whined less and practice more, you wouldn't suck. Seriously, coach, when am I gonna get some real competition? 
Anyone else want to challenge me? Can you guess the voice? It's Beyond Caught, the outcast. Throwing. Maybe if you whined less and practice more, you wouldn't suck. Seriously, coach, when am I gonna get some real competition? Anyone else wanna challenge me? Number 11. The key is to remain calm. Bees detect fear, but you don't need to worry, because I have a very big smoker, and I handle it like a pro. Would you like to see it? Who can guess this character from Wednesday? It's Eugene. To remain calm. Bees detect fear, but you don't need to worry, because I have a very big smoker, and I handle it like a pro. Would you like to see it? Number 12. People like me and you were different. We're original thinkers, intrepid outliers in this vast cesspool of adolescence. We don't need these inane rites of passage to validate who we are. This is an easy one. Of course, Wednesday. Different. We're original thinkers, intrepid outliers in this vast cesspool of adolescence. We don't need these inane rites of passage to validate who we are. Number 13. Well, if anyone can figure out who really committed the crime, it's you. You have to find out the truth and free dad. That's Buxley. Well, if anyone can figure out who really committed the crime, it's you. You have to find out the truth and free dad. Number 14. Do you understand? That can't happen if you're not here. That's how you save everyone, okay? Can you guess this character? It's Xavier. Show me that, I don't care. Do you wanna stop this? Then leave. Go far away and never come back. Do you understand? That can't happen if you're not here. That's how you save everyone. How many did you get right? Let us know in the comments.